Division Division is splitting into equal parts or groups. It is the result of fair sharing. For example, there are 16 mangoes and 4 squirrels who want to share them equally. How many mangoes would each get? To know the answer, we need to divide 16 by 4. We use the division symbol or sometimes the slash symbol to mean divide. Now let's divide the mangoes among the squirrels. 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4 or 16 slash 4 is equal to 4. A quick tip to remember is that division is the opposite of multiplication. When we know a multiplication fact, we can easily find a division fact. For example, 4 into 5 is equal to 20. So, 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Let us now understand this better with this table of numbers in rows and columns. Multiplication, division. 4 groups of 5 make 20. So, 20 divided by 5 is 4. 5 groups of 4 make 20. So, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So, there are 4 related facts. 4 into 5 is equal to 20. 5 into 4 is equal to 20. 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. Each number in division has a special name, that is, dividend, divisor and quotient. We can write the division formula using these terms as dividend divided by divisor is equal to quotient. We can write our squirrels and mangoes example as 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5, where 20 is the dividend, 4 is the divisor, 5 is the quotient. Division sometimes does not work so perfectly. In some cases, we cannot divide things evenly. A number gets left over. This number is called the remainder. For example, there are 7 bones and 2 puppies. Let's divide the bones between them and see if they would get an equal share. Since 7 cannot be divided exactly into 2 groups, each pup gets 3 bones and there would be 1 left over, the remainder. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.